Hello, everyone. Welcome to Beauty Cocktails and Girl Talk. Today, we have a really special guest. Her name is Elizabeth Rankini. You probably know her from season eight of Bravo's Below Deck. And we are so excited to have her here. She is so inspiring and beautiful. So make sure you grab your cocktails, your tea. Like I said before, doesn't have to be alcohol. Uh, so yeah, guys, you ready for this? Let's go. You are so beautiful. So we have oh, to ask you, you, what is one beauty product that you cannot live without? Oh, wow. Um, okay. That's kind of loaded because I'm all about my products. You know, people in the past, they'd be like, oh, you and your toys. Like, cause I, I love my, <laughs> I love my toiletries and all my, <laughs> you know, like I like trying different serums and lotions and, you know, hair conditioners and all that stuff. I love it. Um, but one that I can't live without, like something that's been steady in my life, this is kind of random, but it's my, I'm always in the sun. So it's a sunscreen and it's origins, Ooh, it's an origins that's... product. Um, it's in like an orange tube and I think it's called, um, Ener Ener It's a, it's a moisturizer, um, and oh, it has SPF and it's tinted as well. <laughs> like I literally, I do swear by that. I don't know. It, so Origins is a like amazing brand and they're organic and they're cruelty free. Exactly. And it smells yeah. amazing. It just feels good on my skin. Um, it protects me from the sun. And I feel like you don't even need to wear foundation sometimes. Like it just like kind of mattifies your face. And I don't know. That's just like the first thing that came out of my head right now. But gonna get, there's definitely get more. <laughs> now I think I have to try it for real. I've never tried it before. I've heard of it, but I've just now I have to try it. So <laughs> anything to blur, yeah. to blur the imperfections. Yeah. I'm telling you, and I'll get the proper name, like, and I'll give it after. I'm sorry, I'm blanking right now. I think they like kind of changed it at some point, but it's like an inner zing or something like that. It's a, it's a tinted huh. moisturizer and How it's in an orange, get, orange. Do you get like uh, at Ulta tube. or Sephora? You can get it at either. Oh, I think either? it's like one of their most, it's like one of their most popular products. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm definitely gonna have. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you. I swear, I, I like have a lot of different random things that I love. Oh no, no, that's so. great, Christina. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. So, um, if you could have cocktails with anyone, living or dead, who would it be, and what would you drink, and what would be your topic of conversation? Oh wow, this is a big one. I love it though. Um, Time. <laughs> so one of my like. One of my favorite idols, she's a literary author from the past. Her diaries were published. Her name's Anais Nin. I don't know if you've oh, heard of her. Of course, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, you know. And I mean, I just, she's also Pisces like me, and I always connected with her. Um, she was such a bold woman, especially at the time when like women were suppressed in their sexuality, but she was a romantic. She wasn't afraid to talk about like just like her feelings that were so rich and so deep and she had these love affairs that were intense and um and yeah she published her diaries oh. um and she was such a poet and just a, and she lived her life to the fullest and I just I admire her and I would love to sit down and talk life and romance and sex and all these things with her and probably drink like I don't know like like a Manhattan you know like some like bourbon like, like, just, like, um. like get a little get a little like you know warm and, and uh yeah I just feel like that would be kind of like a ideal scenario <laughs> in my dream world <laughs> that's awesome I love it so interesting question if you could travel back into into time you could either go into the future or the past to any mm -hmm. time period where would you go and if you could have any question answered, what would it be? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, this might sound cliche, but I love the 1960s. Like I always saw myself like at Woodstock, just like feeling that rebelliousness and uh, of what was going on in the world and the war and the, 
you know, racism and all that terrible stuff. And then just being at Woodstock with this amazing rock and roll and people getting into yoga and understanding themselves and, you know, taking psychedelics and just <laughs> the, di- the different realities that are like exist. And like, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I think that stuff's so cool. And I don't see it as like a problem unless if you do, you know, if you just are having fun and, and in- inquisitive and doing things wisely and, Anyway, um, <laughs> and so the question that I would ask, like somebody in the in the sixties at that time, yeah. Um, I would love to meet like John Lennon and ask him how he really sees the world becoming one and at peace. And <laughs> oh, that. like, what he thinks crazy? of the world now? You know what I mean? Oh, oh, okay. Wait, less. <laughs> actually, I like that question better. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like after the release of your song, what do you think of the world now? Like if I was a time traveler, like I go back to the sixties and like tell him what's happening in like 2021 and be like, so what do you think? Like, what should we do? (laughs) Yeah, totally. I like that idea. That's great. I love it. That's, I I love (laughs) That's a good one. (laughs) Yeah. I love dreaming like that, you know? So uh, let's talk, like, let's change gears slightly. So below deck, Mm -hmm. Um, mm-hmm. there's a lot of drama that has gone oh, down. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. So, like, what can we expect uh, in the upcoming episode? You, um, it, it, whatever you can share, that is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's funny because, like, you know, I haven't even seen the next two episodes. Like, I, I know, you know, I know, like, what happens in the general sense, but I don't know how, you know, I don't really know how things are going to look or... But let's just say, I mean, all the drama that you've seen, all the, you know, relationships, they pretty much, not do they just stay the same, but they're on the same trajectory. And I think some of them even get worse, you know, yeah. um, it, the energy, it gets, it gets so intense to a point where, you know, something has to give, something has to explode or, so I do think that as of now, it's definitely like, it's rising. Um, yeah, and I think up there, huh? <laughs> people have a lot to see in store and you know in hindsight too it's like I had no idea that the drama was going to be this intense after the show because when you're watching the show I didn't even know half the things that were being said about me so like watching it now and like seeing what what's being said by people I thought were my friends like in these interviews it is hurtful and I feel like I never really got a chance to speak up and then like recently I kind of did and like, I still got this like backlash and I'm like, oh, uh, you know, it is what it is, but yeah, I and it's I think, definitely like, it's interesting. Just, I think, you know, you're doing a great job and you just keep your head up and Thank my you. little sense about people talking behind backs and stuff like that is just brush it off your shoulder. That's show business. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. No, like, I get that. And you just keep doing you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My- Sorry, oh, okay. I'm getting a phone call, but I'm going to deny it right now. Okay, sorry. Am I still no. here? Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, it. thank you. you thank you. It's amazing you. advice. Yeah. And you're such you. a genuine person. Like, you can tell, you know, like, it's oh. easy to tell when someone's being fake or when they're being real and you have a very sincere vibe, like just your energy. Thank you. I mean, I have my, like, you know, faults and demons like anybody, but I always try to be, I mean, just honest upfront genuine wish the best for everybody good intentions like yeah it's pretty simple for me you know like I see and the beauty in everybody and it's is <laughs> like I, I remember talking to someone about this and they're like you know confidence isn't like oh I'm all that confidence is walking into a room knowing your strengths and weaknesses and being okay with it and being humble about it which you are so I think you, you are a yeah. very positive person and speaking of below deck we have to ask you know like yeah. romance what what is it like dating on a super yacht versus like dating in I'm not gonna say like real life but like right. dating, you know different how is it different oh it's like so much different I mean when you're on the super yacht and you're dating somebody um I just like to say that everything feels that much more intense because you work together you live together you're sharing a small space with other people who are your coworkers, you know, which adds an extra layer of just like drama to yeah. the relationship. Cause like, um, 
and everything just happens really fast. So in some ways, I like to say that's good because you really get to know someone sooner. And if they're not right for you, then like you just know sooner than if I think you're. But but when you're dating somebody not working with them on a yacht, um, I think the progression can happen at a more natural p- pace. And uh, I think it's probably a lot healthier, to be honest. So outside of the yacht. When you're outside of the eye, yeah. What's this the is most- you go on dates, like you have space, you have space, yeah. you know, you Not get to recharge. But when you're all together all the time, you lose, you can lose yourself and somebody else, or especially I, I tend to have some. <laughs> and I need, you know, I need to keep my energy and my power and and not yeah. just give it all away so fast, but yeah, still working on that clearly. <laughs> what's the most important quality when it comes to a partner? Like what's like, he must have this. He, he's got to have this. Otherwise, no. Um, besides just like a attraction, like there has to be that, like that attraction, like it's some, it's not, not even just physically, but like a feeling like, you just like, you want to look into their eyes. You, they make you smile like that kind of thing. Yeah. The but, chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Like that has to be there. But besides that, um, I really think that a partner that's open-minded and not, and like, you know, isn't so, you don't want somebody who's controlling and, and isn't willing to like, you know, get to know you. And even if you're so different, because when I dated people on yachts, they tend to be from other countries, other cultures, and we're so different. But if they allow the differences to make it like, okay, this isn't going to work out. It's like, well, hey, you know, you, life's about learning and growing and, and you can work through differences and I, I think that's where the open-mindedness like comes from as an important quality in dating somebody yeah oh, I love that it's so beautiful yeah <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, um, love. what is your what was your favorite moment so far on the show or do you have one yeah I think it st- stood out when Izzy and I after the guests left our beach picnic at night um, and we had to just clean up the beach and wait for, uh, I think Eddie to come back and pick us up. We took our uniforms off, stripped down into our bra and underwear and we, <laughs> and we, we went night swimming, um, under the moon on that Island. And it was just like moments like that, that really bring me back to, you know, what I love about what I do and who I am and, and the travel what life's all about and it's just yeah those those pure moments of just like beauty and peace beyond work you know like beyond work beyond the drama beyond anything it's like oh wait here we are in this water like floating on our backs like just look yeah like yeah it's like it's liberating it's it's living in the moment you know yes exactly ah I would totally do that flash (laughs) any moment yeah right like any moment when you truly feel alive and you're not just doing Uh something because it's your job and routine. And yeah. It's yeah. just like yeah. Yeah, soul stuff. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, we're going to switch gears a little bit again. We have our inspirational yeah. talk and you're very spiritual yourself. You're very consciously aware. So that I being said, be. yeah. And, you know, reflecting back on your life, whatever you feel comfortable talking about, what mm-hmm. was an experience or a challenge that you overcame and what do you think the purpose of that experience was? Like, what were your learnings from that experience? Oh, wow. Um, I think some of my most challenging experiences revolved around my relationships. And I, I think I chose to date some guys that were abusive mentally, emotionally, even got to a point physically. Um, and you know, it's, it's hard to realize <laughs> that you allowed the behavior because it says a lot about how you feel about yourself. And I'm like, wow, am I not worthy of why, why do I think that this, you know, how can I accept this? Um, so I've had to like really ask those deep questions and heal and go through that almost like at a pattern, you know, to be able to break it. And I'm not going to lie. Like I still fall into the, I, I mean, you know, look at the show with James, like he's being such a flirt. And I still was like, I'm looking back. I'm like, Oh my gosh, like, <laughs> I'm like falling for this stuff. But I think I've gotten a lot smarter and I'm taking things a lot lighter. 
li- more lightly. And so, um, yeah, you know, it's been, it's been, it's, it's been a crazy journey in that way, but I'm sorry like that, that you don't deserve that, but that was really bold and brave of you to share. And we really appreciate that. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for asking. Yeah. It's, of course. Yeah. I'm, I want to be honest because hopefully someday when I'm like really living and, and I feel like I have everything I want and, and I, I feel whole and healed and I can talk about my experiences and hopefully help others. It's really what it's all about. Yeah. You know, being I, better just so we can like help everyone else that's still stuck in something, you know? You have no idea so. how impactful your story can be sharing your story. Like you could touch whether it's yeah. one person hundred people, a thousand, 10,000, it makes a difference. Exactly. I, I truly believe that as well. I and mean, you're amazing for just understanding all of this too. Oh, so. Thank you. <laughs> I think she just answered like, what's a mantra to live by? <laughs> <laughs> I'm try- Seriously, I'm trying to figure this like, all out. All of those questions. That we- <laughs> <laughs> right like we're, we're on our way it's fine we got this we got this yeah yeah for sure. <laughs> yeah as long as we recognize it we'll be all right <laughs> yeah yeah definitely That's christina awesome. you want to switch gears with some some of the fun girl talk questions yeah so um what is your like if you need a minute to think about it what's the funniest date story that you have Oh, a date or most awkward. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, I, I have one. I went on like a hinge date for the first time. Oh, God. And, yeah. <laughs> and we were kind of talking like, I mean, not even that much, but like I saw the pictures he had on the hinge si- site and we were talking a little bit and then decided to meet in like an innocent like coffee date. And I walked out of my apartment and I saw him standing by the car and hey, look, I'm not saying I'm super shallow or anything, but it was like that energy thing. Like I just already felt like, cause he's, you know, he's good looking. Like yeah. it's just, it was the, I already, as I'm getting closer, I just was like, oh no, like he, I could just, my energy and I could tell that he's somebody that I wasn't, I wouldn't in like real life feel attracted to, mm-hmm. but I still went along with the date and um, we had coffee and I don't know. And like, he was kind of awkward and like, but I try not to ever have awkward situations. I'm just like, you know, being authentic and making the most of it. But I just don't want to put myself in those situations. Of I'd rather course. meet people in real life, I guess. And But I don't know. With this day and age, we got to keep trying. People are so different, like, in person versus, like, online dating. They're just... You get in the yeah. physical field and you're just like, oh, that energy is so not what I expect. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It was just like in real life, like we would never, I just feel like, yeah, we would never have come together. And I, and I can sense that immediately, mm-hmm. unfortunately. <laughs> I know. It's, uh... Is there like a study that says like, you know, if you're attracted to someone like within the first like three seconds, I think that's actually true. Like, I think it's an unconscious. Yeah. And it's like pheromones and stuff, you know? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah. So touching on dating stories, do you remember any memorable pickup lines that someone has used on you? Ooh. Um, memorable ones? I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's, I'll tell you, there's been, there's been a lot of DMs coming along <laughs> since Below Deck. And it's, it's crazy. Um, so I've gotten a lot of, of interesting offers and, you know, you're like, no, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) I'm just saying everybody has their own methods, you know, some people just think saying like, hello, how are you doing? Is like going to make me respond. And I'm like, I get all these messages. I'm overwhelmed as it is. Like, you know, you gotta get a little more creative than that. Um, but definitely like but being on my side about things is like I'm like is a plus I'm like thanks <laughs> you know yeah yeah um I'm sorry I wish I could think of something really funny but no if no it no com- if, if it comes up I'll let you know <laughs> yeah yeah you probably get a lot of them in those dms a lot I'm telling you yeah they, it's, it's 
Have you ever gotten like any inappropriate photos? Like that's all they sent you is just some weird inappropriate photos. Um, I think it happened once or twice maybe, but definitely once. I literally was like, because I try to like I'm not that you know I could still kind of manage it like I could. So I, I, I really do like to respond to people and, and be like, thank you so much for your support. And like, I, yeah. it, really does mean, it really means everything, especially when you put yourself on this type of show and you get, you get judged. And, but like when people, you know, take the time to be like, hey, you're amazing. Like, I'm like, I'm not just going to ignore it. You know, I'm really yeah. grateful for that. But no, I definitely got like a dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> um, unwarranted. And it was just like so just no it's <laughs> so i don't love the block uh, button on instagram yeah yeah exactly block um oh yeah. god <laughs> so, so invasive it, invasive <laughs> it is invasive and it's just unattractive yeah like i'm here <laughs> trying to enjoy my cider and then it's like no i don't yeah, want to see like, the stranger for that dick. unsolicited view of you <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> unsolicited view of you Yes. <laughs> so if you yeah. could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Oh. Ooh. All right. So have you guys watched The Umbrella Academy? Yes. No, I've heard of it though. It's amazing. What but the what of the, the the girl who has the superpower? So she goes she can look in somebody's eyes and say, I heard a rumor and then get them to do like anything. So she'll be like, I heard a rumor that you just gave me a kiss or something. And they're like, they'll kiss her. So you know what I mean? Like, or I, they're being superheroes. So she'll be like, I heard a rumor that you stabbed yourself. But um, so I, yeah, to bad people, but I, I would love like that type of like, I want, I'm all about this like heart connection. Like, I think people are, can be so in their heads and so in the ego and like, I want everyone to just, <laughs> I sound like such a hippie, but I truly <laughs> want people like to like live through their hearts and like kind of just, you know, feel the, the camaraderie with everybody and the connection and like, just chill out. And if I had a superpower to like, like, I don't know, like touch someone's heart and like get them connected to it. Like, this sounds insane, but you know what I mean? Like, okay, it's superpower so to melt hearts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. We need to connect more with our hearts. I think it's really important. I think, that, like, love is the strongest vibration in the universe. I really do Thank believe you. that. Thank you for saying that word. Exactly. If I can just, yeah. yeah, if I had a superpower, it would just to, like, put everybody in my path on a love vibration. And let's see how that changes Absolutely. the planet. Yeah, <laughs> that's my superpower. Speaking <laughs> of all of ours, speaking of exes, like if there was one thing you or of exes, geez, speaking of love, okay, <laughs> if there was, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being dyslexic right now. Okay, so if there was one thing that you could say to an ex, what would you say? Like maybe something that broke your heart or or didn't. I don't know. You know what I'm gonna say? I'm sorry. I was young. Yeah. I didn't know better. Yeah. And I appreciate you. I always will. Love it. It's good. Yeah. Because, you know, you you learned something from just everybody. You come in, you know, that you Uh, come house with. So that's unbelievable. Yeah. Everybody is just, you know, so important to how who I am today. Yeah. Any funny, embarrassing stories that have happened to you recently? Just like fun stuff, you know, like fun, embarrassing stories or anything you want to share. Oh my gosh, just fun, <laughs> embarrassing. Ah. Um, let's see. Um, I don't know, like having to deal with like below deck. Well, it's funny because I've gotten recognized a couple of times. Um, yeah, I'm gonna ask you that was, too. What's that been yeah, like? I went on a trip to St. Thomas recently, and when I was in the airport, I met this guy. He was super cool. We were he had a girl like we were just like he was also like a yachty and like, but I had been I had been drinking a lot with like the friends I made and so I'm in the airport and we're like, oh let's like be buddies and like and it was just like, we had like the best time, 
Like being and, silly, having a good time. Yeah, being silly, just having a good time. But then, like, but then we like got to the, we got past St. Thomas, back to the airport, in Fort Lauderdale. We like went to like one more place to like continue our like just like. And then yeah, and, and then a couple yeah they recognized me, and it was that's fun. Awesome. I was talking to them. And maybe that's not embarrassing, but I just think it's funny because I'm like, here I am in this like vulnerable state, like just kind of, you know, being free and funny and not really caring about like not I wasn't being offensive or anything, but still you're like, I'm like letting loose. And then, you know, you get recognized. And <laughs> no, that's great. Like, oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> like, hey, yeah, like, I, right. like, I love you. Elizabeth. It's, just, it's such a huge. Fan. Yeah, it's just, I mean, while I'm like, oh, it's like. It's just weird, you know, because here I am just being myself as I always am. And, and now all of a sudden, like, you know, 1.6 billion people, uh, billion, million people, the whole world, <laughs> the whole world watches Below Deck. No, but it's like, you know, like these millions of people like watch it and like actually could possibly recognize my face like anywhere. And it's just, so it's just, it's just something to like think about. <laughs> you know, You're like, I do. Well, really happening. <laughs> Like I said, I don't, I don't like, you know, get naked and run around the street. Like I'm, you know, I'm not worried, but it's, just, <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. Christina, you want to close it off with the, you know, you know what question it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So I love this question. It's my favorite. Never have I ever. What have you never done? <laughs> never have I ever. <laughs> oh, Oh, come on. Oh, you're supposed to give like a, like a, what's supposed to be a game. Like I have to think of one. All right. No, never have I ever, I could say something so boring. Like never have I ever, um, I never skydived. Um, but do you want something juicy? I'll do juicy. I'll do juicy. <laughs> juicy. Juicy. <laughs> like, okay. Like never have I ever been with a girl. All right, that's pretty never juicy. Have I, yeah. Never have I, like, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of juicy for you guys. <laughs> no, that's good. That's juicy. <laughs> it is. Not like there's anything wrong with it, but that's I'm just so we're at, throwing like, it just never. Yeah. Um, man, I wish I was, like, more creative right now. No, it's totally cool. Is there anything else that you, like, want to say that we didn't touch on or that you'd like to say to your fans um let's see I think something that's just like been bothering me lately is not bothering actually no nothing is bothering me lately honestly I'm like I'm actually pretty okay about but the whole thing but what's just a little unsettling is like you know I try to take the high road I feel like I have taken the high road and I strive to take the high road in all these situations with people with co-workers with friends like in every way you know like I really truly wish the best for everyone if we don't get along I'm sad about it I'm sorry for it but you know we move on we learn from it um I just feel like with this show um you know, I'm not claiming that being the best stew. I will own up to any mistakes. You know, if we didn't work well together, we don't work well together. If I messed up, I messed up. Sucks. I'm sorry. You know. Yeah. But I feel like I've been a little bit, and this is not me whining. Like, it's just, I, I don't know how, you know, to be, feel like you're being kicked while you're down or like, well, and I, I if, if I do say anything, I'm still getting like shit for it that's a little frustrating that's kind of like what i'm like dealing with feeling down or feeling low like give me a break just give me like a give me five minutes yeah yeah exactly <laughs> exactly like just like give me give me a break we all know uh yeah so i don't know that's been kind of annoying like for just with the show and i just want people to re remember that you know, you should always be able to stand up for yourself and speak up and not feel like you're scared to or that you're being rude. You can still, I think you can still take the high road and be like, and call things out when they're not fair or when they're, you know, offensive and they hurt you. And that's being an emotional empath. And yeah. I just, you know, I'm trying to step more into my power of like, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm emotional. I'm sensitive. I feel things. I'm st I can still work hard and, 
you know, but, but yeah, I don't think you have to make it one or the other. And definitely, I know that, um, you know, I had a mentor and he brought this new level of awareness and he would tell us about like shadow work. So something like, let's say you don't like something about someone, for example, they're an asshole, right? So you're like, oh, this person's an asshole. So instead of being like, they're an asshole, accept that quality in yourself. Like I too can be an asshole, but I choose not to be so that Ooh, you can yeah. So anything you don't like, accept it that is also in yourself. Like I too can be violent, but I choose not to be. Because all those qualities that are right. capable, we're so capable of, but we choose not to do that. Or what am I learning about myself? What am I learning about myself? And it's frustrating because when you're in a moment where you're like, oh, I don't even want to ask that question. But if you bring it back to that, it's going to like just release a lot of stuff. That's so on point. You're right. That shadow work is everything. So, you know, that's something that I'm going through right now, I guess. It's just, yeah, like, you know, what, 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 all these triggers, like, okay, what do I still need to see in myself to accept, to like, let this reality so be what it is? So all three of us, maybe four in this room, are emotional empaths, because I know that I am. I, I suffer from it. It is the worst thing in the world. It might be a blessing. I don't know. <laughs> So yeah. they say, but let's see. I know. Sure I know. <laughs> it's certainly hard in this world, but at least we're not alone. <laughs> but you're right. Yeah. That you say. There's no higher power. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. to do with it. You can be mm-hmm. in showbiz, Hollywood. You can do all that, even though it can be a really like cutthroat world. Like mm-hmm. empathetic or not, you can you can be in that world and, and stay true to yourself. I know it sounds cliche, but yeah. like that what you got to do. And I think that's what we're learning constantly when we're challenged and put in positions like, but no, stay true to yourself. Exactly. It's very difficult, but like exactly when you start seeing people that you thought had your back talking. Right. Right. You remember. And and trying to keep my integrity, you know, Yeah, you keep that and know that that is who you are. And everybody that loves you knows you, your family, your friends know Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and exactly. <laughs> These people are and, in it for yeah. some reason, right? For some goal. And whether or whatever that goal is, it doesn't matter because you are you and you mm-hmm. are staying true to yourself. So that's my own little spiel as an emp- a fellow empath. So I, I love that so much. I love that so much. Thank you. I feel Thank it you really so for doing this. And I, I always knew I was telling her before, I was like, when she sat next to me at purchase, I was like, I just knew Ooh. that this be a star like I just got a feeling I don't know if I'm you excited. are so just, sweet you're so no, you really thank are you. thank you, you really are. and she told me she was I like you. a long time ago I just knew I knew I'd see her <laughs> on TV. I, I just knew it <laughs> you guys are killing me thank you I love it I mean I appreciate that and and I love what you're doing with this with your magazine and I'd love to know more about it so definitely like let's stay yeah. in touch and I would yeah. love to like you know share share everything please yeah whole, that's the point like you know I, I love having a platform literally just so I can support other people that I believe are doing amazing yeah. things even if I even if I haven't figured out my thing about it yet it's like I want to be able to support and use this platform for for other especially amazing inspirational empath women <laughs> thank you so Get much it. It. Yeah. Liz, I don't know what you what do you prefer being called by the way is it Elizabeth or Liz honestly I don't prefer either like every it's like half and half at this point what did you got is called me what did you call me in college I think I was Elizabeth in college or yeah no, Liz yeah oh, I, oh I I heard different things like I heard some people call you Liz and then I heard some people call you Liz hey so, I'm like my girl it's like it's all up to you <laughs> well, thank but you so much. thank you for calling me at all yeah <laughs> of course well I can't wait to, you know, put this together. And once we have it together, I'll send you the link. I cannot wait either. And yeah, we'll be in touch. Seriously. Yeah, this was so much fun. <laughs> this was so much fun. I could do this again in a heartbeat. Thank you, girls. It's so nice yeah, to was chat. So have a beautiful rest of your week. Yes, thank you. I'm hoping to stay in Colorado a little longer. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. Yes. Colorado gorgeous. You must. Yeah. Oh. Are you guys in New York? No, I'm in Austin oh. right now. Oh, oh cool. I want to be in LA. <laughs> I'm from 
in LA. I'm in Austin for right now until oh. the rest of the year. So, <laughs> okay, well, that's not a bad place to be here. That's an not amazing thing. Little California, you're from, so <laughs> you're from Long yeah. Island, right? Yeah, originally. Yep. I know and Kimberly. I know. I was gonna say it's crazy that you know my best friend. Like we were meant to all be friends. Like I know the connections she, are uncanny. Yeah, she was like, she's like, oh my god, you know Liz because she's an actress. I know that, and she's with the same manager. And we were talking about you. It was like a while ago, but like I was like, you guys seem like sisters. Like I love it. Yeah, <laughs> we get that every time we're together, and we grew up like around the block from one another. So it's so weird. Where am I from? Yeah. In Malvern, a small town called Malvern in Nassau County. Oh, it's in Nassau. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So. I love Elizabeth Rankini. I freaking love her. She is such a beautiful and pure spirit. She's super consciously aware of who she is, of her strengths of what she needs to work on maybe. And I really was taken aback by her answer when we asked her a challenge that she's faced. I had no idea that she was abused in some of her relationships. And I thought that was really, really courageous of her to talk about that because that's not an easy thing to talk about. And then also bringing it back to herself and asking herself, you know, why do I keep attracting this? What, what is it that I need to recognize in myself, which I feel like I'm not worthy. And she said that and it just broke my heart a little bit because she is such a good soul. She's such a beautiful soul. She's stunning inside and out. Like her spirit just beams light and love and funny story which you actually saw Elizabeth and I actually went to college together we went to SUNY Purchase together and I remember her sitting next to me in class we didn't really talk but she sat one seat away from me and I remember I think it was the first day I remember looking over at this girl Elizabeth and I just remember thinking there is something very special about this girl. She has this energy, this mag magnetic energy about her. And I remember saying to one of my friends, I was like, this girl is gonna be famous or something. She has that star quality. That's what it is. She has that star quality. And that's not necessarily being famous, but mm -hmm. just having a presence. And I just felt so connected to her during this interview, I feel like I've known her forever. And yeah, I mean, she is just so incredible. Team Elizabeth, hashtag Team Elizabeth, we love you. And you guys make sure to like this video and subscribe. And thanks for joining us. Till next time. <laughs>